This may be the hardest ACT question of all time. Question 56. As shown below, two circular pulleys with center 8 inches apart are connected. So it means that these two have a distance of 8, right? That's also indicated by an image. And then the belt wraps two-thirds of the way around the larger pulley, which has a radius of 5 inches, and one-third of the way around the smaller pulley, which has a radius of 1 inch. What is the exact length of the belt in inches? So our idea is we're going to find the length of this right here, and then the length of this right here, and then find the lengths of these two and add them together. So what's the first formula we have to figure out? So in order to find the length of this right here, I have to find the circumference of this entire circle and multiply that by two-thirds because it wraps around two-thirds. So what's the formula for circumference? Circumference is equal to pi times 2 times r. So what's the radius in this case? Our radius of the larger circle is 5. That's given to us. So let's just plug it in. That's going to be equal to pi times 2 times 5. That's going to give me 2 times 5, which is 10, and then 10 pi. And then I know it wraps around 2 thirds, so I'm going to multiply this value by 2 over 3. The same as 10 pi over 1. And then 10 pi times 2 is going to give me 20 pi. And then 1 times 3 is going to give me 3. And we can't really simplify it from there. So what's the length of the smaller one now? So we use the same formula. Circumference is equal to pi times 2 times r. I know the radius of the little one is 1. So I plug that in. So it's going to be pi times 2 times 1. And that's going to be equal to 2 times 1, which is 2. And then we just get 2 pi. But how many times does it wrap around? It wraps around 1 thirds of the way. So I multiply that by 1 over 3. So 2 pi over 1. That's going to be 2 ti pi times 1, which is 2 pi. And then 1 times 3, which is 3. So those are our two lengths. Now, for the harder part, we have to find the lengths of this and this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this radii right here and this radii right, uh, right here. So therefore, I created this weird-looking shape. Looks something like that. So I know that this value is 1 because that's the radii of 1. And this radii is 5 because that's the radii of this big circle. And then I know that this length in between is 8. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this weird-looking triangle by creating a rectangle. Since this one is 90, since it's tangent, so that's 90, this is 90, and then therefore I just created myself a rectangle. So since this is 1, this has to be 1 as well, so it means this shorter side has to be 4. Okay, next what I have to do is I'm going to look at this triangle right here. So pulling out this triangle, it's going to look something like that, and then I have a 4 over here, that's the length of that, and then I have an 8, and then I have to find this angle right here. Because this one's 90, I know that's 90, because these two are parallel, so that's 90. Now, how do I figure out the length of this angle right here? So looking at your triangle, or your circle back over here, I know that this was 2 thirds of the way. So drawing that, I know that this length right here was 2 thirds. So 2 thirds of an entire circle, which is comprised of 360 degrees, multiplied by that by 2 over 3, that's 720 over 3. And 720 over 3 gives me 240. So know that this right here is 240. So how much is remaining over here? That's going to be 360 minus 240, which is going to give me a total of 120. So know that these two right here are equal to 120. And since they're split equally, 120 divided by 2 gives me 60. So it means that this angle right here is 60. Therefore, I have a 60 degree angle right here. And look what I just created. I created a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Because all triangles sum up to 180. 180 minus this 90 minus the 60 gives me 30 for this angle right here. So a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And what is the relationship between the 30, 60, 90 triangle? It's going to be, kind of just drawing out, 30, 60, 90. Opposite of the 30 we'll call x. Opposite of the 90 is 2x. And opposite of the 60 is x root 3. So kind of just piecing all this together, we have opposite of 30, which is 4. Opposite of 90, which is 2x. 2 times 4 is 8. Opposite of 60, which is 4 times root 3. So that gives me that this side right here is 4 root 3. And since this is a rectangle, opposite sides of rectangles are equal. Therefore, this is 4 root 3. So combining all that together, I get that this length right here is 4 root 3. That's a little bit hard to see. But that's the length of our two sides that we're missing right here. So piecing all of this together, I have the 20 pi over 3 plus the 2 pi over 3 plus my two sides that are both 4 root 3. And 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3 gives me 8 root 3. So combining 20 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3, that gives me 22 pi over 3 plus the 8 over root 3. That means my entire answer for this question has to be choice G.